Ever wanted to have a new Azure Pipelines run whenever a new version of a package gets released? This is exactly what we're gonna do today. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave. Today I have for you a new video in the Azure Pipelines Trigger series, which you can find a playlist up here and in the video description if you wanna check the other videos. And we talk about how we can trigger a new pipeline execution whenever a new version of a package gets released. To do so, we will use the package type of resource available in YAML pipeline. And by the way, stay with me until the end because I have a very exciting announcement to make. So why would you want to do this? I'm glad you asked. For example, this is very beneficial if your application has a dependency on a package and you want to make sure it still works with the new version of the package. You can start a new CI and test work to make sure of that. In general, there are many scenarios in which makes perfectly sense triggering a CI pipeline or even a CD pipeline whenever a new version of a package gets released. And as I mentioned before, to do so, we will use the resources in Azure Pipeline, specifically the package type of resource. With the package resources, in fact, you can consume NuGet and NPM packages from GitHub and even enable automated trigger when a new version of the package gets released. But let's see how to do it. All right, first of all, let me show you that I have this hello node NPM package version 118 and I have it in the hello node repository. And this is the package I will try to hook up to Azure Pipelines to trigger a new run when I publish a new version. Let me show you the pipeline. As I mentioned before, we are going to use the resources. So we have the resources keyword and we use the packages type. Here we can specify many packages. In my case, I have only one. I can give it a name. This can be any name I want. It's just for internal pipelines use. I need to specify the type. And in this moment, only NPM and NuGet packages are supported. And then I need to specify a connection. This is the service connection to GitHub. And it's important to notice that even though there are many ways to create service connections for GitHub, you can use PAT, you can use OAuth, you can use GitHub Apps. Only service connections created using PAT, personal access token, are supported when using packages resources. So make sure you use here a service connection that has been created using a PAT. And finally, you have to specify the name of the package. And the name is the name of the repo, hello node. The name of the package itself is also hello node, as we have seen a while ago. In here, if you want, you can also add the version of the package you want to use. If you want to specify a specific version, like version 1.2.3. But if you don't, like in this case, it defaults to latest, which basically takes the latest available version of that package. And finally, you can add this trigger true. And this is the instruction that makes this pipeline run whenever a new version of this package is released. As you can see down here, I can even specify trigger none, but anyway, this trigger will be run. So remember, give it a name, specify the type, associate a service connection, tell pipelines the name of the repo and the name of the package and enable the trigger. And that's basically all you need to set this up. Before we move to see how this works in practice, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This way, YouTube will suggest this video to more viewers, they will benefit from it, and would mean a lot to me. As we've seen before, I currently have the version 118 of the Hello Node package, which is being downloaded five times. Let's generate a new version. Let's go to the code. And in this package.json definition, let's change the version of this package to 120. Let's commit this. Now that the file has been committed, the CI CD action is running and it's just building the package and publishing it to the GitHub package registry. Now that it's done, let's go back to our package. And in fact, here we can see that we have the new version. Let's go now to Azure Pipelines. We can see that now it is running because it has been triggered by the new version of the package. And now that it's finished, I can go back to the package. And if I refresh this, I can now see that the download counter has increased to six because my pipeline downloaded this package as part of its execution. Remember that by default, packages will not be downloaded into your workflow. If you need to download the package itself, you can use the get package task as you can see on screen. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is useful and don't forget to check out the other videos in the Pipelines Trigger series. As I said before, you can find a link up here and in the video description. Before we close, I have an announcement to make and I'm very excited about it. I finally launched my Patreon page 
and what it means is that you can join and get access to exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere else because I will post the content just there. This means that you can have access to posts and videos, but most importantly, you can have live chat with me, live Q&A, and even one-on-one -on -one consultation in which we can talk about anything DevOps with GitHub, Azure DevOps, or DevOps in general. So if you want to take advantage of that and see the options, just go to patreon.com slash coderdave or check the link in the video description. Ever wanted to have an Azure pipeline starting when a new architecture? And today we talk about how to start a new Azure Pipelines trigger, sure. Stay with me until the end because I have an excite excited. For example, this can be very, very, and dot for dot. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.